is another presentation by My Weight World. Nutrition after lap band surgery. Making the decision to have gastric banding or a lap band is a life-changing step. There are many issues to consider and the results can make an amazing difference in your health. But like anything worthwhile, this takes a great deal of commitment and education as well as work not only after the surgery but before. The goal of this presentation is to provide you with information you need to get your body ready for a lap band, help you plan for habits and lifestyle changes, and give you ideas for optimizing health and well-being after your lap band is in place. Weight loss surgery, depending on the type and your health status, can help prevent, improve, or even cure medical complications of obesity. For most, surgery reduces the size of your stomach to about that of a small egg or one to two ounces. A normal stomach is around the size of a football. Typical patients who choose a lap band lose around 55% of their excess weight, but of course this depends on lifestyle changes and results can and do vary. The band around your upper stomach with weight loss and lifestyle changes can improve conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure, and other serious health conditions. Lap band nutrition concerns are different than for gastric bypass patients. There is no change in intestinal absorption of nutrients, so vitamin supplements may not be needed. There is no danger of the dumping syndrome when fluids rush into the intestinal tract and cause very distressful symptoms, but it is important to realize that weight is easier to regain if diet and exercise regimens are not followed. No matter what type of weight loss surgery you have, Commitment to eating changes is critical to achieve weight loss, to avoid discomfort and complications, and to prevent nutrition deficiencies and to maintain your weight loss. This is typically the hardest part. Remember, the lap band is a tool which changes your body on the inside very significantly. It is up to you to change your life and adjust your environment on the outside, meaning of course home, workplace, and any other common settings in your life. It is important to remember that you will need to be ready for big changes in your lifestyle and health habits. This is much easier said than done. Having a well-organized and written out plan ahead of time can make an amazing difference. Social support from family and friends is an important consideration. Are they ready and willing to assist you after lap band surgery? If not, can you find those who can? Ask your doctor's office for assistance in this planning. Nutrition evaluation and education by a registered dietitian before surgery is very important. You may already have been on many diets previously, but this is different. Learning the specific and important diet changes for living with a lap band is critical. Identifying your relationship with food is also critical for successful and long-term weight loss. With nutrition evaluation, relationships with food that need to be identified include danger zones in your home, office, or other areas where you might have long-term habits established that involve overeating. You will need to consider the role of vitamin and mineral supplementation if needed and commit to this plan. You will need to be very clear on what your new portion sizes will look like compared to what you are used to. And the dietitian will be able to provide assistance with weight loss before the lap band placement. Why diet before getting your lap band? Great question and there are great answers. Some may think that their eating days may be over once the lap band is placed. They may then binge or overeat otherwise known as the Last Supper Syndrome. Actually, once you recover, you can eventually eat many of the foods you enjoy, but portion sizes will be much smaller, and instead you will be needing a takeout box with your meals. If you overeat, binge, and gain weight before the lap band is placed, 
This can lead to respiratory difficulty, breathing and sleeping problems if they don't already exist, a more fatty and enlarged liver, which makes the surgeon's job more difficult, and increased stress on your heart, which is already stressed with any surgery. These are all excellent reasons to improve eating habits as soon as possible. It is also important to learn how to eat. Start working on these behaviors before surgery to help you prepare for your new lifestyle. Eat slowly and chew very thoroughly. Eating too quickly can cause a lot of pain and stomach distress. This really does take quite a bit of practice. Other ways to practice slow eating. Use chopsticks, use child-sized utensils, take tiny bites about the size of a shelled peanut and chew very thoroughly. Use a kitchen timer to help you pace your eating and allow 30 minutes for completion of your meal. Practicing this over and over is very important as you are retraining very stubborn habits. It's like learning how to drive or ride a bicycle all over again. It can't be emphasized enough how important portion control is for your health and well-being. Instead of full dinner plates before you get the lap band, practice using small salad plates for meals or even saucers. Purchase small food storage containers for portion control and if dining out, take at least half or more home and order a healthy appetizer for your entree. Plan for your new eating pattern of three meals per day. Small meals are one half cup each. Use measuring cups to become familiar with this portion size. Meal portion control is essential for avoiding stretching of your stomach pouch, prevent vomiting, and to help promote weight loss. Once you have your lap band in place, you will be started on a clear liquid diet. This usually includes fluids provided in small amounts throughout the day, as well as protein supplements. These fluids may include gelatin, broth, and clear juices. Sip beverages and other liquids slowly. Try drinking from a medicine cup or shot glass and practice at home before getting your lap band. Once you're home, your typical diet will progress from a full liquid diet usually about one week, followed by a puree diet for about three weeks. Protein intake must be maintained at 60 to 80 grams per day and fluid intake of at least 48 to 64 ounces per day is required to maintain your hydration. This shows an example of a full liquid diet menu for the first week after surgery. Notice the small portions specified and the need for time to sip fluids that are so important between your small meals. Remember, this is a critical time to use your measuring cups. For your puree diet, remember that all foods need to be the consistency of applesauce. Cut foods into small pieces and blenderize with some liquid. Strain out any lumps or seeds and use mild spices or extracts for flavor. Freeze extra food in ice cube trays for future meals. Perfect portion control. On your puree diet plan, be sure to limit food to two to four ounces per meal, maximum one half cup servings. Remember, eat the protein first. Aim for three small meals per day and use protein supplements to help meet your needs. Sip liquids between meals and not with meals. Remember, you are retraining your stomach. Avoid extremes in spices or temperatures. Examples of puree diet foods include sugar-free fluids and protein drinks, low-fat cream soups, hot cooked cereal and mashed potatoes, blended or baby food vegetables, unsweetened applesauce and pureed fruits, puree and baby food meats, and fat-free or 1% milk, cottage cheese, yogurt, sugar-free pudding, and ice creams. Realizing when you have had enough to eat is also important to practice before your lap band. Stop eating when you are comfortable, not full or stuffed. If 
if at all possible, start wearing a belt as much as possible for a physical reminder previous to the lap band placement. Also, avoid distractions when eating, especially television and reading. Listen to slow, relaxing music to help you pace your eating. Practice drinking fluids all through the day. This is essential to avoid dehydration after surgery. Because your stomach will be much smaller, be sure to practice sipping instead of gulping. It is also best to avoid using straws, which may entice you to drink too much at once. Your post-surgery fluid intake goal is 6 to 8 cups, or 48 to 64 ounces per day, or as your doctor advises. After that, it is typically recommended that you do not drink fluids 30 to 45 minutes before your meals or after your meals to make sure you are able to eat enough food without overdoing it. After about the third week, you can start adding soft foods in small amounts, such as cottage cheese and sliced cheese, eggs, fish, potatoes without skin, which are mashed and well-cooked, well-cooked rice and noodles, and ready-to-eat cornflakes or puffed rice cereals. After about four to six weeks, you may then start adding cooked ground meats, sliced tender meats, raw fruit, and vegetables in small amounts. But remember, very thorough chewing is the key as well as small portions and taking it slowly. There are foods that are known to cause problems for those with lap bands. They can cause stomach upset or clump together, causing an obstruction in the outlet of the pouch. These include stringy or dry meats, shrimp, untoasted or doughy bread, nuts, peanut butter and popcorn, seeds, skin, and fibers of fruits and vegetables, and undercooked rice and pasta. Greasy and fried foods can also cause distress. Because fluid intake is so important, it is necessary that you know signs and symptoms of dehydration. These include dark colored urine, it should be light like pale lemonade, dizziness, confusion, and white coating on your tongue. Start weaning yourself off of carbonated, caffeinated, and sugary drinks. Help prevent withdrawal symptoms like headaches and extreme fatigue. And especially avoid alcohol. This is dehydrating and you may be much more sensitive because of your much decreased food intake and weight loss. Remember that carbonated drinks should be avoided since they can give you excess gas leading to great discomfort. Some people may be able to tolerate carbonated drinks only if they are allowed to sit out and go flat but for others, even flat beverages can cause discomfort. Be sure to avoid any caffeinated drinks which can dehydrate you and even irritate your new pouch. It takes time to go through caffeine withdrawal if you have been used to using it, so start way before your lap band is placed. And definitely avoid high calorie drinks such as milkshakes, smoothies, and other calorie dense liquids which will sabotage your weight loss efforts. Do get in the practice of reading labels on everything you eat. Food choices after lap band placement should be low in fat and preferably with no added sugar. Ideally, sugar should not be in the first three ingredients on the food label. And avoid sugar alcohols such as sorbitol, xylitol, and mannitol, as well as starch hydrosylates which can cause gas and cramping. Before your lap band, start paying extra attention to limiting foods high in fat. These are another cause of abdominal distress as mentioned, but also very high in calories for a relatively small volume. Avoid these foods such as cream sauces, added butter, margarine, or oils. Examples of other high fat foods include chips, anything fried, processed meats such as bacon, sausage, hot dogs, bologna, pastries, and high-fat dairy foods such as cheese, except in very small amounts. Get familiar with protein. 
When your stomach is restricted with a lap band, your protein needs will be extremely important to keep up with. You will need about 60 to 80 grams per day. Protein sources should be eaten first at each meal and snack. Examples of high protein foods include meat, fish, chicken, cottage and ricotta cheese, eggs, and yogurt. Greek style yogurt is best because of its high protein content. Remember, focus on protein and fluid intake as most important as well as any prescribed vitamin and mineral supplements. One ounce of protein rich foods provide about seven grams of dietary protein, but be sure to read labels. And protein powders and supplements are often very useful for meeting your needs, but quality counts. Look for whey protein isolate products. As a reminder, preparation for your lap band also includes having the right foods available to you when you return home. So stock your kitchen beforehand with items such as canned broth, light juices, and low calorie fluids such as flavored waters, diet or sugar-free gelatin, sugar-free popsicles, light sugar-free yogurt, sugar-free pudding, as well as puree foods such as applesauce and several varieties of baby food, which can be very convenient when you are not strong enough to cook. This will come in very handy as you take the needed time to relax and recover. In summary, Preparing for a lap band takes careful planning for the best outcome. Learn as much as you can beforehand about what you will need when you get home. Discuss nutrition needs, supplements, and other helpful products and services with your physician, nurse, and dietitian. And attend meetings and support groups for helpful ideas and insight to make your adjustment to your new body as easy as possible and for the best success at long-term weight loss. This has been another presentation by My Weight World.